Oh, new, new jeans, jeans. a K-pop group. New jeans. New jeans, like okay, your cute. denim. K-pop, all right. Today is the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month. Yay. Woo -hoo -hoo. And although it is an important, it's important to show all the things that we've achieved teaching our young Latinos to how to keep their roots yeah. alive is just as crucial. Look at former first lady. Look Michelle at this. Obama. And just like any successful relationship or career, you have to consciously work at it and find opportunities to expose your children to your culture and language, just like our next guest has done. Here for all of it. Ronaldo Linares. He's a former Marine, no big deal, turned classically trained chef, a father of two, and an author of his cookbook, Chef Ronaldo's Sabores de Cuba. I love that. Para que tu sepa. Uh, you may also <laughs> recognize him showcasing his culinary style in Food Network's Chopped yeah. and Supermarket Steakout or BBC's Chef Race. Wow. Now he is ex executing his chopping skills and cranking up the salsa music to show us some fun but kid-friendly recipes right here on the program. So without any further ado, Ronaldo! Linares. I mean, that's where... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Alex, so I heard you've been uh, learning Spanish. Como estas? Si. Oh. Not only has she been learning Spanish, we started off the week she start, she was dancing bachata. Bachata. What? Well, maybe today With we'll a Venezuelan do... chef. Right, so maybe today you'll do a little... Uh, we'll do a little, a little merengue, maybe. Merengue. Okay, Keep it simple. Salado. I want yeah. to step, you know, but oh. I'm very excited to be here. Yeah. Yay. Thank you for having me. Always yeah. appreciate it to celebrate Hispanic heritage. Thank you. So Please. talk to us a little bit about your culture, why it's important to you, how it influences everything you do, but for the purpose of today, your food. Well, for the purpose of today, being Cuban and Colombian, it's in the blood, <laughs> it's in the genes. I, I cannot not have good food. Yeah. Yeah. And if I do have bad food, oh, then we don't talk I got to kitchen kitchen, go uh -uh. do something <laughs> That's else. That's right. right. But done. it influences every day. It influences with my kids, grow, you know, raising mm -hmm. them, how I eat, what we, what we put on the table. And to me, food is essential in any Latin household, mm -hmm. right? You have a party in the Latin household, you have um, music. Oh, oh, music. Right? Music. A little bit of taco, oh. a little bit of drink. Yeah. And then the food. And then the food. always got rice on the brain. I know, I love okay, rice. Okay, so you are you were originated in Colombia. Yes. You are now in New Jersey. So talk to us a little bit about that journey, but also how the love of cooking and yeah. how you turned this passion and something that you were born with. It's in your blood, it's in your culture, yeah. and how it's not your business. Oh, no, for sure. So my first nine years of my life was in Medellin, Colombia, the eternal Medellin. spring, one of the best cities in the world. Right. So there, I would spend a lot of time with my father, my mother, at the restaurant. We had two restaurants. Yeah. So we're talking about wow. standing on milk crates, right? Those little milk crates oh. standing on there. Oh, you do that. Killing the potatoes. Yeah. It's now. Yes, yeah, well, we don't have one here, but it. we no, normally okay. have one. You're perfect size. Oh, oh she's fun size. I'm fun size. I'm snack size. So uh, <laughs> we spent a lot of time doing that, right? So we're talking about the chicken coop, uh, oh my killing gosh. the pigs, climbing trees for mangoes. So this is it's back a in Medellin. This is back Medellin. in Medellin. So nine, fast forward the last 30 plus years, we've been here in, in the United States, right? Mm -hmm. So we had a restaurant for 25 years, Cuban restaurant, best Cuban restaurant in New Jersey, oh. tri-state, hand down. I moved on from that. Uh, my brothers are doing another thing. So I moved on to the private chef world and oh. really focus on the media end and bringing this to the people. I think food, food it just... Hugs people, mm -hmm. warms people up, and my dad taught exactly. me and I have to carry his legacy. He passed away three months ago, so we oh, have to keep bendido. this going. No yes, okay. then without any further ado, let's just th do the, just that. Yes. And uh, this is a spread. We yes. thank you in advance. Let's, Haven't even tasted anything yet. I know it's going to be amazing. Also, I love your lunchbox. Thank you. Yes, thank please. You. Bobby, the lunchbox, please, a moment. Because <laughs> we are always hangry. It says hangry. Always. Who's not hangry? Adjective. Right? Especially informal. Latinos. Uh, Bad okay. tempered or irritable as a result of hunger. All right. There we Chef, go. I'm going right. to switch with you. Let's so what you got? Move. So we're going to do two things here. We're going to have to put a little work into okay, this Okay, Marisol. Right? A little, little work. So we're going to have for uh, celebrating tomorrow, sí. Mexican Independence Day, Mexicanos. Saludos. Saludos a los Mexicanos. Vamos a hacer chiles en nogada. So it's a traditional dish made on Mexican Independence Day. So that is right there. So it has the traditional colors, right? Green, white, oh, red. Oh, I said get it now. So you I get, get it, it now. And it's filled with Mexico. So you have a lot of different ingredients in there. Walnuts, oh, garlic, raisins, cherry vinegar for the acidity, a little salt, almonds, ground beef, and all their ingredients. But the point of that, it hugs you. Oh, right? like I this. love when food hugs me. Mm, I love being hugged too. I so, this right here is all put into the pan, saute, cooked down, lots of flavor. The roasted poblano pepper. Oh gosh, Roast yeah. it, skins off, seeds are out. So what you're going to do, while I talk to Alex over here to sure. do arepa de chocolo, oh. you're going to stuff with that, this guy. With that guy over there. Okay. You're going to open her up, put a picadillo, 
closer back Entonces, up. Entonces lo cierro. Lo cierra y en él echamos la salsita. Okay, y ahí está vamos. bien. All right, so a little bit of that. Your spoon is right here. Okay, you go talk to Alex. Off you go. Now, so, Alex. But you're going to show me this. Yes. But while we're, while we're cooking and mm -hmm. while we're making the hugs, you have a cookbook. Yeah. We want to know everything about it. Oh, no, no, of course. So, the cookbook itself, so we have some corn, so put some of that corn okay. in there. I will so do the it. cookbook is Chef Ronaldo's, put it like six, seven spoonfuls okay. in there. This smells so Chef good, Ronaldo's by the way. sabor is a cool, lots of flavor in there. So the whole point of the book is to bring Cuban food, traditional Cuban food, making it healthy but keeping the flavor. Ooh, so yeah. pretty much what I did, I took the end and I was like, you know what, let's make that better or a little bit healthier. So we changed the proteins up, but kept the spices. Spices are needed in food. That's where yes. the sabor comes. Yes. Without the sabor, and talking about the sabor, <laughs> you could get more recipes at <laughs> savorrecipes.com for sure. It's recipes so like good. this. So remember, savorrecipes.com. Oh, so God. as far as the book There's itself, seven in we're there. talking about seven in there? Yep. All right, so you're gonna put a little bit of sugar. Just a pinch. Okay. 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 So the book itself just brings a lot of my, my upbringings from what my mom used to make me, like oatmeal with milk and adding that out, adding a lot of Latinos, Ooh. right? Yeah. You tell me no. There is milk, there is cheese. Leche. At every, and leche, everything. at every meal. Muy bien. Why? Because we need to feed our kids. That's comfort. Right? Me, that is comfort right there. What are you there. doing with all this business? Lots of vitamins and protein in that. So with that, we're gonna add a little bit of mazarina. Just a little pinch. No, put it, put a good amount in there. Cornmeal, for those of you keeping score at home. Dale, 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 dale. Dale un poquito más, dale un poquito más, more, 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 more. Yeah. All right, and then queso fresco. Oh, yes, I know this one. Queso fresco. The whole just thing. Just put it, uh, half of it, or yeah, this, this, why not? Why not? YOLO. Go it's wild. Got it. Excelente. Boom. Now we're going to grab a little bit of this lechita, this oh! milk. Look at that. Moo. Moo. It's right from the cow. Right Echalo un poquito. Right from the cow this morning. Un poquito. ¿Cómo se dice acá? La vaca. La vaca. Mm. Muy bien. La vaca. Mm. La vaca. Mm. Oh, la linda la vaca. vaca. All right, that's good right there. So now we are going to put the top on. Yeah, que dale una, una a little, tapada. Una Ooh, hit it hard. Es que hay veces, you know, <laughs> to dust it. So we're gonna work that. We're gonna pulsate that, right? <laughs> so now we got that fixed up. We're gonna get a little bit of un poquito de sal. Because you always need a little bit of salt, that's right? right? Just I know, to that's bring right. out. But you know what? Salt brings out flavor. It's that's not right. to the ultimate. It's when not the final right. thing. Exactly. You mix it. It's, it should be gradual. It should be throughout. It adds to right? the flavor Someone profile. Someone tell my dad this. Papi, salt is not JL. the only thing you put. JL, don't be afraid of salt. All right, excellent. So this right here is going to create our base for arepa de chocolo, which is right uh -huh. over there. So with this, what I like to do, traditionally they put it on the skillet, right? They yeah. let it cook. I like to get brown on both sides, y la pongo oh. in the oven. Just so you could cook a little bit slower, a little bit better, right? So these are your arepa de chocolo right over here. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Can I bite into it? Oh, claro, claro. But let me, let me give it to you right. Let me give it to you right because... Oh, my God. Quesito, queso fresco. Oh, God, so yes. So the cool thing about el quesito... Mm. Un poquito más, espera, espera, espera. Look, I took a bite and then I put it back the because I wanted to The good thing about this quesito fresco, it's tangy. Oh, I love that. It has good phosphorus in there and nutrient-rich. And the reason for that, and the reason important adding this kind of ingredient to your food because it adds flavor. Okay. So looking for, like, mineral rich foods it actually it's another seasoning that you're adding naturally from the food itself how good is that is it almost as good as this entire segment chef yes thank you so much oh no no not oh a problem God. te amo chef oh no igual igual thank you so much for for having me here oh, of course and yeah. you can get a copy of his cookbook ronaldo sabores de cuba on amazon do it right now thank you so much Add for leaving cart. all of this for us no no it's my <laughs> pleasure my absolute pleasure thank you, Listen, thank you so much we're gonna keep cooking mm -hmm. stick with us we'll be right back we didn't even finish <laughs>